Hi viewers, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will talk about the concept of expectation value of position operator and will point out a minor difference between the expectation values of quantum mechanical operators and the mean or average value of the corresponding physical quantity in classical physics. Expectation value of an observable refers to the expected value of an observable derived from the wave function and compared with the average value of several experimental measurements of that observable. To understand the concept of expectation values more clearly, let me begin with an example regarding the average values of classical mechanics. To this end, let we perform an experiment for repeatedly measuring the position of a particle and let the output of our repeated measures go like this. We measure position x1 and 1 times, position x2 and 2 times, position x3 and 3 times and so on up till position x sub n, n sub n times. The average value of position based on this data is then written as x bar equals n1 times x1 plus n2 times x2 plus n3 times x3 plus up to n sub n times xn divided by n1 plus n2 plus up to n sub n. And this and terms can be compactly written in the form of a summation where i runs from 1 to n, n sub i times x sub i divided by summation over n sub i. We can put equation 1 into another useful form by writing it as x bar equals n1 divided by summation over n i times x1 plus n2 divided by summation over n i times x2 plus n3 divided by summation over n i times x3 up to n times. Now we know from probability theory that the ratio in each term of this equation is in fact the probability of that outcome that is pi equals n i divided by summation where i on n sub i and if you don't know about this concept i would suggest you to watch my videos on probability theory okay with this notation equation 2 becomes x bar equals p1 times x1 plus p2 times x2 up to n times which can be expressed completely as sum over i pi times xi Thus, the average value of position x is the weighted average of several measurements. For continuous probability distribution, the pi becomes a function of position x and is written as p of x. And the summation is replaced with integral sign. In this notation, equation 3 takes the form x bar equals integral from initial position xi to final position xf x times p of x dx. Equation 4 gives the average value of the position of a particle with continuous probability weight function p of x from initial position xi to final position xf. Now instead of being measured experimentally if the weight function p of x is a priori probability obtained through a theoretical model then the average value x bar is replaced with expectation value x in the form which is enclosed inside the angle brackets and equation 4 then takes the form average value of x equal to integral from xi to xf x times p of x dx. So the average value of a quantity is based on averaging the outcomes of several experiments performed under identical environments, whereas 
the expectation value of the same quantity refers to the expected value predicted by a theoretical model. Extending equation 5 to the realm of quantum mechanics is straightforward because we know the measurement of position corresponds to position operator and the modulus square of wave function correspond to the probability density and if you don't know about this property of wave function I would suggest you to watch my video on the interpretation of wave function so we can write p of x dx equals the modulus square of the wave function times dx replacing this value in equation 5 we can write the quantum mechanical expectation values in terms of the modulus square of wave function through this one equation note that in this equation i have replaced x with its operator form x hat we also know that the modulus square of the wave function can be split into the conjugate of the wave function times the wave function where obviously psi steric is the complex conjugate of psi with this substitution equation 6 can be expressed into this form we also know that the position operator works as a multiplicative entity so we can change its position with respect to wave function and can write equation 7 in the form of this one equation where I have sandwich the position operator between the conjugate of the wave function and the wave function itself. We see from equation 6 that the expectation value is the expected value of the average value of position predicted by quantum theory through the wave function of Schrodinger equation. Note that we have put the position operator in between the conjugate of the wave function and the wave function. In general, this is not an allowed operation for other quantum mechanical operators such as momentum operator which depends on the derivative of position. Nevertheless, this is a standard way of writing the expectation value in quantum mechanics. In this representation, the operator x on the wave function to its right side. This equation can easily be generalized to the expectation value of any power of position operator. That is, we can write the expectation value of x raised to power n in the form of this equation where we have said which x operator raised to the power n between the conjugate of the wave function and the wave function itself. The expectation value of x may be time dependent due to the time dependency of wave function. In that case, equation 8 can be written in the form the expectation value of x as a function of t equals the integral from xi to xf psi steric x psi. Finally, I would like to add a comment. Like I said before, the position operator x behave as an algebraic multiplicative entity that is why I change its position with respect to psi steric in equation 8. But this operation cannot be done for other operators that depends on the derivative of position or on the derivative of time. The question is how then do we find the expectation value of such operators for example the expectation value of momentum operator. I will continue answering this question in the next video on the expectation value of momentum operator and the expectation value in general for any operator.